What was General Leo's voice? General Leo. Locke, it seems you found the espers. I owe you a debt of gratitude. I am Leo, a general of the Empire. Might I have your name? I am Yura. What we have done to your people is inexcusable. We are in no position to ask for your forgiveness, but... Speak no further. We did not seek you out to chastise you for past mistakes. We are not guilty of the same. It is we who ought to be ashamed. We thought of you only as a means by which to wage war. How close we came to bringing about a second war of the Magi. We must put all this behind us. I think our work is finally done. It looks like true peace is finally upon us. Let's go back to Vector. Celeste. Please don't say anything. Those two are hot and heavy, huh, Grandpa? They're young, dear. They think with their cockles. Uh, Locke does, anyways. This is not good. <laughs> Bumbling elves. How about a little magic mayhem? Kefka, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> Emperor's orders. I'm to turn all these espers into magicite. Behold, the magicite mother load. <coughs> you're a no. Dragon, no. Fairy. They, they were unnamed. How pathetic. This little hamlet has too much boring and not enough burning. Torch everything. Get him, Leo. Oops. Shut up. I missed what he said. Oh, Kefka, no. <laughs> Kefka, no. General, he looks like a golem. I guess I picked the right voice because that feels like a good golem. Just remove everything. What is the master scroll? I wish I could check that. Hey, Steve. Meow to you, too. Okay, everybody's down, so... Attack the Kefka. Kefka! I can no longer stand by while you commit your atrocities. Do 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 shock. Holy shit. By Raga. Woo! Yes! My shield is no match for you. Wait. You're no match for my shield. You did one damage physically to me. Ah, Leo, ever the consummate soldier. Where are you, Kefka? Show yourself. Um... you here.
Leo, my liege. I'm sorry I had to deceive you, Leo. It was the only way to get the Magicite. You understand, don't you? But Emperor... Don't say anything. I understand how you feel. <laughs> That's right. Our top priority is collecting Magicite now. But my liege, then... What have I been fighting for? Leo... I'd like you to take a well-earned rest. A very, very long rest. <laughs> what? You think you actually hit me? That was an illusion. Just like my Gastor. You really are a slow one. And always, always... Such a goody two-shoes. Kafka, you're insane. <laughs> I'll tell your liege I had to dispose of a traitor. Die, die, die. Leo. Odeon. What is this? I feel tremendous power. Wave after wave of pure magical energy. The gods are awaking. Oh, don't worry. They just moved a pebble. <laughs> do, 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 do. Another Bahamut. Hang on, we're coming to help. Still don't know what that thing is. Another Frenrir, another Shiva, <laughs> another Unicorn, and another Bismarck, and another... Uh, they just recycling sprites here. You don't want to do that, I swear. If you come out and you try and come to the island... Kefka's just gonna turn you all to Magicite. Then I have even more of you to free. I guess if they're Magicite, they're dead. So it's not really freeing, is it? Collect? Gotta, gotta, gotta catch them all. Magicite! Oh, you all showed up for my party. I wasn't expecting you guys. Uh, gals? Whatever. I'm so happy to see you. After all, you've brought me more presents. They're all just what I wanted. Magicite. Well, I wouldn't want to turn you down after you came all this way. Let's neutralize those pesky powers of yours. Kefka, you're too powerful. Now, little espers, let's see those presents. Do do do. Wish you would do this a little faster. Kafka. <laughs> ah, you want to take me on? Fine. Here I am. <clears throat> Thought you could defeat me? How rich. <laughs> Come to me, my magicite pretty. Help me build the Magitech Empire of Kefka. Oh, shit. 
the inevitable betrayal. It's warm to the touch. What a lovely treasure. What a joke. I didn't know you espers were such wimps. This isn't even fun. Time to wrap things up. That's what I was expecting. <laughs> this should be plenty of magicite. Now all I need to do is claim the final treasure beyond your precious sealed gate. I just can't believe it. What? Is there one more? Hello? General Leo. Oh. Oh. People only seem to want power, don't they? Do they really want to be like me? Uh. I wanted to teach. I wanted you to teach me so much more. Tara had a thing for the Leo. Locke puts his head down. I thought she liked me. <laughs> Interceptor? That's a nasty wound. Not only Leo, but Shadow too. Curse the Empire. Don't worry, Shadow's not dead. That'll have to do for now, buddy. You're too, you're so sweet. Don't worry, your friend Realm will take care of you. Now I'm worried about Edgar and the others back in the Empire. I hope they're all right. Meanwhile... Setzer's voice. We've been had. The Empire is a liar. It was all a trap. <laughs> Setzer, the man of a million voices. Being that every time he talks, I forget what he used to sound like. Thanks to King Edgar, we managed to escape before the trap was sprung. Science changing from French to uh, an, 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 a terrible... Mexican accent and by terrible I mean it's it's racist it's bad uh, <laughs> good work Edgar the lady who brought us tea tipped me off to the whole crooked plot I'd barely finished exchanging pleasantries with her when she just blurted it out <laughs> pleasantries <coughs> pleasantry <laughs> Although I don't think it'll make that noise. That would be kind of weird. <clears throat> Did you think I could be so rude as to meet a lady and not make any moves at all? It was a matter of courtesy, dear brother. Courtesy. General Leo's dead. Kefka murdered him. Sir Leo, dead. What a terrible waste. <laughs> what? What a weird way to talk. He was one of the few em people in the Empire who truly understood. We need to rethink our plans. Let's return to the airship. Would you mind if I accompanied you? And you would be... He's from the village. He's a descendant of the Magi. He'll be useful to have along. 
The Empire has abused its power for the last time. We cannot allow them to get away with this. I want to go too. I think not, young lady. <clears throat> we can't have kids getting in our way. I'm losing, I'm losing the Hank. Who do you think you are? Trying to tell me what to do, you overfed muscle man? Kid's got quite a lip. Uh, I'm gonna paint your picture. <laughs> no, Realm, stop! Oh, all right already. I like you stay at home when you're told anyways. Yay! All right, let's go. Who's going to be in my party? What's wrong, lover boy? <laughs> How old are you? Ten. Why? Weirdo. I'm gonna go on ahead. They grow up faster than you think. I don't... I don't like that line of dialogue. That's creepy. <clears throat> Imperials were headed for... See? His voice changed again. <laughs> well, I just, just give him Carl. The Imperials were headed for the sealed gate. Said they'd found some statues or something. It couldn't be. <clears throat> <coughs> yeah, it sounds like they stole the statues. Oh, those half-witted espers. To think they would open the gate for us themselves. The warring triad is waiting just beyond that door. I need only to reach out and claim it for my own. And all my dreams will be fulfilled. Hurry it up. Kefka's gonna betray you, Gestal. They're nutty. Dear little nutty professor. What's wrong, Celeste? Wait, what's wrong, Tara? The island. Something's happening. The earth is crying out. Arise! Arise! The entire continent is floating. Well, it's going to be. Some of you may die, but that's a risk I'm willing to take. I remember this island being a right pain in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the power of the Warring Triad. With this and my magicite, the world will be mine to command. About that. It's actually going to be Kefka. She's going to take control. I mean, they are going to take control. The source of all magic. The Warring Triad. Those things... They're said to have turned themselves to stone facing one another. That way each one's power would be neutralized but the, by those of the other two. If the three were moved out of their perfect alignment, the resulting power imbalance would destroy the world as we know it. What? We don't have controls just yet. There we go. Uh, never mind. Do, do, 